Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I don't have a drone for you today, but I have something that a lot of drone owners need, and that is a remote ID module. The folks at Beewine sent me their B112 uh, remote ID module. When you need this, uh, if you've got a drone that doesn't broadcast standard remote ID, you need to add a module onto it to be legal. Beewine has created a, a nice compact little module uh, that you can put on your Holystone drone, your Ruko drone, your Beewine drone. A lot of drones that are over 250 grams that need a remote ID module to be legal uh, this is an easy solution. You've got an older drone that you've had for a while, you still fly it, you can put one of these remote ID modules on it and be uh, perfectly FAA compliant. Now you do have to register the serial number of the, uh, the module with uh, the FAA. You can do that on the Drone Zone website. Uh, but a couple things about this. So uh, in a second here I'm going to show you the product itself. But first I want to talk about some features. Uh, it features GPS positioning, right? That's where they, they, you know where the, the drone that it's attached to is at. Uh, but it also has a Find My Drone feature. So in other words, if your drone went down someplace, uh, it's going to mark the GPS location and you can, you can go find it. Uh, it's got a really good battery life. It's got a uh, five hour battery life. They say you can charge it up fully in 40 minutes. When I show it to you, you're going to see that it's really small. It only weighs 13 and a half grams and it's just a tiny little thing. Let me show you the module itself and I'll show you everything that comes in this package. Okay, when you pull everything out of the box, this is what you're going to see. So, uh, so let's pull the top off of this and there you have it. You've got the documentation. By the way, I've looked through that and that's a very comprehensive uh, user manual. It's going to show you everything you need. Uh, including uh, it's got QR codes whether you're on iOS or on Android uh, for the Beewine drone scanner app that you use to put in all your relevant uh, drone information. So what do you get? Let's, uh, let's get all the accessories out of the way first. They put together a pretty complete package for you here. So this is a, an attachment that you would use say on an FPV drone uh, that's got uh, sticky tape on one side and uh, then you would uh, you, you can strap it down with this uh, kind of a little uh, ratchet strap and then of course it includes several cable ties these are fairly small if you're putting it on a bigger drone and you just you're wanting to strap it down on a bigger drone you might need some bigger cable ties than this I think these would work if you're just putting it on the arm of a drone or something like that Although I think most people are going to want to put it on the body of the drone. Uh, and then of course you do get a USB cable, uh, USB-A to USB-C. That's so you can charge this guy up and use just like a, uh, a, a regular cell phone charger or something and, uh, and you'll charge this thing right up. You get a couple of pieces of double-sided tape and you got to get a couple pieces of uh, hook and loop fastener uh, and I suspect that hook and loop fastener is what most people are going to use. Okay, I put the module itself on top of a soda pop can so you kind of give you an idea of the size of it. It's pretty darn small. It only weighs 13 and a half grams. You can see there's uh, three lights on the top there. I know the light on the very left is the, uh, it tells you when it's charged. Uh, and then obviously it tells you when it gets uh, GPS connection. And I know there's also a light that comes on for binding. So if you look on the front here, you're going to see a power switch and uh, I think that other switch is for uh, binding that other button. So all of that, the instructions are right here in the manual. I think the only thing left to do now is take the uh, Beewine B112 uh, remote ID module out. We're going to put it on a drone and we're going to try it out and see how well it works. Hey, okay, so we're out in the field with the, the uh, Beewine B112 uh, remote ID module. Uh, so we're all set to check out the uh, flight portion of this. We're going to put it on a drone and uh, we're going to see exactly how it works. A couple things I wanted to show you was on this side of the module is where you're going to find the, uh, the ID number for this module. That's the one that you'll register with the uh, FAA. Uh, and then if I didn't show it before, you got two buttons here. 
uh, one to uh, you hold it down three seconds to turn it on I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and you'll see uh, those two green lights blinking when the middle light is solid that means you've got a, a GPS lock uh, and it's ready to go now the button right next to it that's the button that you use to bind and what they mean by bind is uh, that uh, allows you to enter the information of the drone you've got it connected to so in this case uh, I've got the uh, uh, Holystone HS 900 that's the one we're going to use you can see I've got some double-sided tape I used one of their uh, little double-sided tape squares put it on the top of the drone we're going to attach this to it uh, and uh, and take it out and try it out now for all the details on this this is already a sub 250 drone and it really doesn't need a module but I just wanted to show you how it worked and get it out in the field and kind of get it up there so that you could uh, you could see uh, that it actually works and it's actually broadcasting uh, remote ID uh, you do have to download the uh, the BeWine uh, app and it's called the uh, the BeWine drone scanner and they include a uh, QR code in the manual so it's easy enough to find that whether you're on Android or iOS either one uh, the binding part was super easy uh, the app found the uh, the module and uh, I simply entered the information in my case I just put test uh, because this is just a test I put test in, in uh, uh, all of the various uh, areas on there so uh, let me get this attached to the drone and we're going to take off in the drone we're going to fly it out a little ways uh, and we'll take a look at the BeWine app and uh, just see if it shows where the drone is at how far away it is how high it is etc hey real quick I just want to show you what the drone looks like with the uh, module attached and it kind of gives you an idea of the uh, size of the module it's quite small really okay I've got a screen recorder started first thing we're going to do is start the uh, BeWine scanner app came right up here and uh, you can see that uh, you've, you've got a, uh, an, a button for instructions that'll give you instructions on how to use it and then they even include a couple of videos on here and those videos are quite good uh, drones around it says uh, broadcast data I'm sure what they mean by that is broadcast data and that is uh, what you're gonna see the information coming from the drone and uh, then below that you got device that's what you use when you're binding when you're setting it up and by the way if you move it from drone to drone which you can do uh, if you're uh, just using a uh, uh, if you're just a hobbyist not a part 107 uh, you can edit it so you can go back in there you put it on a different drone you just edit all the information so very convenient you can use it on multiple drones but anyway we're going to click on drones around and it's going to show us at some point here it's I noticed that it goes way out on the on the map but if you look at the very bottom there in detail it already is showing us uh, where the uh, where the drone is at now it's saying 49 feet for me 48 that's not accurate at all it's much closer than that it's about 15 feet from me uh, so we'll see how that goes and then uh, the uh, it shows the altitude pressure and altitude geo I'm not sure exactly what that means but we're at about 2200 2300 feet here so I guess that's pretty close uh, and of course we're not moving so it's not showing any speed so we'll look at all that later on and then I want to show on this map uh, I'm sure it'll get to me here but I've got to uh, I've got to uh, move in No, it's really not uh, close to us at all on the map here so we are quite a ways away there there it shows us so I don't know why the map doesn't zero in but then but then I move it in to the uh, to the app there and that is uh, relatively accurate so uh, it's uh, it's showing it uh, so I don't know which of those is the phone and which of those is the drone uh, but uh, anyway it's showing it one of us is a little bit uh, further away so let's get it up in the air and we can test that accuracy out so let me fire up the uh, Holy Stone Sirius app here and uh, we'll get the drone in the air and then we'll come back and look at uh, all this information again so we're not going to do any recording with the drone I don't even have a card installed on it uh, we're just gonna we'll show you uh, a screen recording of 
of where the drone is at and so forth. But uh, but let's go ahead and take off. So hitting that take off button. Do an auto take off, and I can tell you, just looking at the uh, at the drone, it you know that 13 grams or whatever that the module weighs sure doesn't seem to have any uh, any pr any effect on the little drone at all. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's move it out there a ways, and uh, and we'll see. So let's see here. We are. I'm in fact. I'm going to go change because I know that the uh, the Bwine app is in feet. So I'm going to change this guy. I can figure out where to do it in uh, into uh, Imperial. Okay, we changed to Imperial, so that way we're comparing apples to apples when we look at the uh, data on the FPV screen. So, uh, according to this, we're 20 feet high and we're uh, 69 feet away right now. You can see the drone right in front of me. I'm going to go look at the app and uh, at the drone scanner app and see what it says. So, it's pretty close. It's saying we're about 70 feet away and about it's going between 21 and 23 feet high so it's perfect I, I suspect that just sitting on the ground because the module wasn't moving it just took it a while to uh, to figure out where it where it's at here so what what I can see now is that the uh, what looks like a little uh, a teardrop is uh, is the drone itself and uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, in real time move the drone away and we'll see if that distance see if that shows real time on the map and it does so you see that teardrop move away and you see also uh, that the uh, the distance from me moves away so supposedly it's 18 feet high and 180 feet away let's again let's go back and look at the uh, at the drone telemetry and of course I'm doing this all on uh, on uh, on uh, one phone, so that's why we're having to switch back and forth. Uh, I guess it would it might have been a good idea to bring a couple of phones, and it keeps wanting to have me update the uh, the drone, but we're not. So this is pretty close. It's saying 167 feet away and 21 feet high, so I think it's fairly accurate. Let's uh, let's grab some altitude and let's run it out a ways, and uh, and we'll try that again. So. Let's go clear out here to the corner of the park, and uh, and we'll check that again and see how it does. Uh, so a little bit about why you want a remote ID module. So uh, the FAA last year uh, stated that uh, that any drones over 250 grams have to have uh, remote ID that is showing their uh, location, serial number, uh, etc. And your, uh, uh, your FAA number needs to be on there as well. And that's why they allow you to edit what information is in that little module. Uh, but let's just say you've got a legacy drone. You have uh, uh, a Hubson Zeno. And that is certainly over 250 grams. If you fly it, you want it. You don't want to put one of these modules on it. So uh, let's see. We are. It says we're 99 feet high and 594 feet away. Let's take a look and see what the uh, Bwine app says. So the app has not updated. Oh, there it did. So I, I touched the screen and it updated, and it is very, very close. It's saying 180 feet away and 93 feet high. So that's a few feet difference either way. I'm saying, you know, close enough, right? Uh, and it does show your, uh, your location on there and uh, 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 the height from takeoff. And again, the, uh, the altitude. So I assume the altitude pressure shows the altitude of supposedly what the drone is at. And it's showing our altitude, our ground altitude here at 2588. And I just, I don't think we're that high. I, I don't know. Uh, and uh, let's see, so distance from me, oh, we got a, we got a big, an aircraft flying over. So, so now it's talking about the operator. And of course I told you I put test in there. So it shows uh, test 
and distance for me six foot. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Uh, and category undeclared and class undeclared. Uh, but uh, anyway, that shows you uh, just just what this thing will, uh, you know, that it, it appears to be, you know, relatively accurate to me. So, uh, and it that will tell you also that it complies with FAA regulations. And when it comes down to it, that's what you're trying to do. This is a compliance thing. You're trying to comply with FAA regs. Let's uh, let's bring up the uh, Sirius app again, and I'm going to fly it to the other corner of the park. And there's a reason for that. I have noticed at this other corner of the park uh, that I have seen uh, I've seen Wi-Fi interference before. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about three things at once. So I've seen Wi-Fi interference in this corner of the park. And in fact, let's go up a little higher too. Let's take it up about uh, 150 feet high. That's close, 152. And here we are at the uh, at the other end of the park, and it's a little bit further away. You can see we're going to get clear out in the corner out there. And that's I just let off the stick a little short of 700 feet. Let me. Move it forward. Let me get it close to 700. So we're a little under, a little over, excuse me, 700 feet. Looking at the Boise front out there, that gives us a pretty good view. Uh, and then let's go back and look at that uh, at that B Wine app again, and let's just see what it says. Now, what I learned before is I have to touch the app for it to update, or at least that's how it worked last time. And now maybe it just takes it a second to update. As you can see, it's still showing our previous location right now. Yeah, it hasn't updated yet, so that is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to say there. It. Uh, I would have thought that it would have uh, that it would have updated by now. We'll give it a second here, and we'll see what happens. There it did. There it updated. Uh, and yeah, so it's showing about, it took it just a second to update there, 707 feet and height, we, you know, we were 150 feet high, it's showing 144, so relatively accurate. Uh, yeah, I, it works. So I guess we've determined that. Uh, let's, uh, let's bring this guy back and uh, we'll do a little conclusion. Okay, uh, the BeWine B112 remote ID module, uh, very elegant little device. Uh, we just showed that it works quite well. And the main reason you want this is to be compliant with uh, FAA regulations, and this will do it. So uh, if you're a hobbyist and you've got a, a drone uh, over 250 grams, just uh, put one of these on here, uh, you know, a legacy drone. Most of the new drones already have what they call standard remote ID built in. But obviously there's a lot of us that still have some older drones that don't have it, and this is your solution. And it's pretty reasonable. Uh, I think the, the, the full price of this is like $39.95, but uh, uh, they've got uh, a, a coupon uh, that I think gets you a few dollars off, gets you around 35 bucks, I believe, and they might even, if I can get a discount code, I'll put it in there, and I think you can even end up around uh, thirty dollars for one of these so that's cheap and it keeps you legal so uh, yeah I guess that's about it uh, the uh, BeWine B112 remote ID module this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho quadcopter channel out and if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel most of all I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video and of course we'll see you on the next one uh, again the BeWine B112 remote ID module. See ya.